Oh, I wanted to move it. I was feeling weird. <laughs> Welcome to this week's reading vlog, which is actually the Reading Rush Readathon reading vlog, whatever you want to call it, formerly Booktubeathon. It is Monday, currently 12 o'clock. I slept in really late today till like 10:30, which is late for me. Like I'm usually up at 7:30 in the morning. But last night I went with my mom to go see the new Lion King movie, and that was at 9:40. So we didn't get home until like midnight. So your girl was tired, I guess. I actually really liked the movie. I know that there's a lot of like mixed reviews on it right now. I think I liked it a lot just because like The Lion King is my favorite childhood movie like I love it. Simba's my favorite Disney character. Anything Lion King I'm a huge fan of so obviously I was a big fan of the movie as well. But I ended up getting a hat which I like think is the cutest thing ever like look at it and it's Akuna Matata which is my favorite Lion King song duh. It's like Simba, Pumbaa, and Timon walking across the log and I just love it so much and it was only $20 at the movie theater which I feel is not that much. It might be but Lion King so I don't care. I guess I should tell you guys what I'm reading for my TBR for the reading rush. I started The Adventure Zone this morning around 12 so I'm not very far in it I'm 37 pages. It's a graphic novel. It's like a Dungeons and Dragons podcast that these brothers and their dad have and they made it into like a graphic novel form. This is the second book and I'm using it for the challenge of read a book in the same place. So I'm reading in my bed. So that's that challenge. I'm actually about to go make my lunch because I work for to 8.15 tonight. So I'm hungry right now. So we're gonna eat and I'm probably going to listen to an audiobook. So my audiobook that I'm reading right now, which I haven't started yet, but we're gonna start when we're cooking, is the Bells by Danielle Clayton and I believe I chose this for a book I meant to read last year. Could be wrong. I don't remember to be honest. If you guys are interested, look at my TBR to know what challenge this is actually supposed to be for. I'm just going from my pile. So honestly, I don't remember. My pile's over there. Wait. Oh, pile. There. Th there. Pile is there. I don't remember what the actual challenges are except for like purple on the cover because that's obvious. I could watch the video but your girl lazy. These are shapes with two parallel, polygonal, and congruent faces called the bases with the height of the prism being the perpendicular distance between these faces. What's that for? <laughs> I hate this math shit. It's now day two and I finished my graphic novel, The Adventure Zone. This was for the challenge of read a book in one place the entire time. So completed that. I'm giving it five out of five stars, obviously, because I'm just obsessed with these guys. I just always have a really great time while reading these graphic novels. I highly recommend y'all check these graphic novels out. This is the second one. There's two of them. The first one is called Here There Be Gerblins or something like that. I would show you it, but it's currently in my brother's room because I'm forcing him to read it. Has he picked it up yet? No. This is a call out, Curtis. Read. The Adventure Zone and you're not getting this one until you read the first one. So I've completed one challenge so far. It is currently 424. I spent the morning doing math. If you guys watched my previous reading vlog from I think two weeks ago, you guys know that I'm going into teacher's college and we had to do like a math test basically before we went in and it was like a pre-assessment of 60 questions and then you had to complete all these modules and then you get a post-assessment. So <laughs> completed the pre-assessment got 70% on it and then I completed all of the modules this morning and then logged into the post-assessment which is basically just they give you all the questions that you got wrong in the pre-assessment and they're like now that you did these modules can you answer these questions so I only have about 10 questions left I actually answered most of them with the help of you guys on Twitter I was like posting pictures being like please help me because I'm dumb and then I also have a friend who's an engineer so I sent him all of them and I was like hi you're good at math you want to help me out friend and uh, he did it all in literally five minutes and I was sitting there like that would have taken me a literally a week so I hate you but also you're the best human being ever. So now I've decided we are going to read until 7 30 when I'm going out for coffee but I figured I would show you guys what I'm reading and also like the update of what I read yesterday other than 
completing that one challenge. So I started the bells yesterday and I got to page 160, 159. So basically 160. Um, I've been reading a little bit this morning. This is my audiobook, so I've been listening to it actually when I was like making food and stuff but i'm actually really liking it it's really really intriguing like i am fully invested in what's going on what's happening it's about these women called the bells who are basically like the creators of beauty and they're like hired by the palace and like different houses to like basically change the appearances of people for a price and then there's like a favorite bell who gets to live with the queen but then one of the princesses is sick and she is told that she has to like cure her basically but like that's against the beauty rules i don't know it's really confusing but really really good so i'm really liking that hopefully i'm going to read a lot more of this until i go to coffee and then i also started another physical book since i finished the graphic novel so i'm doing the challenge of purple on the cover and it is daughter of the burning city by amanda foodie and this one I'm also really liking, but I'm only 42 pages in, so it might go downhill from here. But the first two, three chapters, I think, I think I've read three, are really good. It's about this girl named Serena. Serena, not 100% sure how to say it, but basically she is an illusionist for a circus, a traveling, like, freak show. And all of her illusions aren't supposed to be real, but then one of them ends up being murdered, and it, like, sends her on this adventure of trying to figure out, like, who murdered her family. But like I said, I'm only 42 pages in, but I'm actually, like fully invested already like I want to know what's gonna happen it's really cool and also I really like it because it has like pictures in it like that I didn't really expect like I'll just show you the one that I just saw but it's like a picture of the guy who was murdered and like a list of like attributes I guess like of his abnormalities because he's a freak but it's actually really good so far I'm really enjoying it so I'm excited to see where the story goes so I think I'm going to read this but i also want to listen to the audiobook like i'm actually really into both of these books so i think i'm just gonna like flip back and forth when i get tired of holding the book then i'll switch to audio until i get tired of listening we got a good system going on here success 93.33 what are the red ones I they're the ones that i got wrong surface area volume intro to probability and proportions but all this thing i got right even though it wasn't me <laughs> aren't you proud of me the certificate. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, please enter your name as it you want it to appear on the certificate. Yes, ma'am. Are you Jay or Jan? No, I have to be Jan. Okay. <gasps> wow. Look at that magic. You frame that sucker. This is my daughter, the math genius. <laughs> <laughs> if a math test came at me at three miles per hour. And an engineer came at the math test at one mile an hour. What percentage did she get? 93! <laughs> I'm about to go to coffee with my friend, question mark, John. If you guys are like an original The Awkward Bookworm viewer, you guys know who John is. John was my best friend from my high school days and first year of university. We tried dating, I broke his heart, he hasn't talked to me in four years, I finally convinced him to go to coffee with me a couple weeks ago, and he said yes, and it was great, and we talked for like six hours. He said he'd be up to going to coffee with me once in a while, but he still doesn't know if he can do it, because I broke his heart, and blah blah blah, my life sucks, but we were like the best of friends. So he finally messaged me the other day and was like, hey, you wanna go to coffee? And I was like, yes! So that's what's happening, I'm not going to film during that time because he's still like spooked and like scared of everything you know but look my mom baked him banana bread because it was like his favorite thing ever when we were dating was my mom's banana bread so i was like yo mom can you bake some banana bread for him so i can win him back over so he can love me again because i miss my little johnny boy we're gonna go for coffee i'll update you guys tomorrow because it's 8 30 at night right now so why i'm drinking coffee i don't know the things i do for friendship i said hello excuse you are, are you gonna be nice now i said hello say hello hello thank you oh my god it's too early o'clock. I have to go to work. 
to 12. Coffee was good. John friendship broke up with me. Um, that's the update. We're going grocery shopping. Mom's being extra annoying today. Say something. <laughs> oh, now you don't want to talk? Now that the camera's on, you got you nothing are, to say? You are really grumpy mm. right now. Mm. You're grumpy and you're mean. Interesting. And you're taking it Interesting. out on so as soon as I yawn, you're all over Okay, me. this bitch literally will yawn like this. But she is such a liar. Oh my goodness. That's her. So annoying. I'm sorry, what's this on the end of your nose? It's just That's me yawning like you. I don't yawn like that. How do you yawn? Not like that. Exactly. I You're a liar. Right now. You have to catch me. <laughs> so she's decided basically to tell me that I'm I'm just a, a pain in her ass. You which, are. Which <laughs> Oh, hot. Yeah, but I didn't sign up for this. I was brought into this world against my will. Against you had a choice. Against your will? Yeah, I didn't ask for you two to fornicate. See, why do you have to? That was there? all you. Because you that's how babies are made. When why, two people love each why other. Why do you have to always go into the dirt? Because <laughs> it makes you uncomfortable. You like it? Yeah. I wasn't sure if you'd like that one or not. I like it. I like the it. The skull is gorgeous. Look at her, she's so That was like the best one there. I love it. Yes. It's Laura Zombie. Cool. Detox tea. It's just because I got you the tea last time. Like the tea strainer <gasps> thing. Yes, I can use So I was it. like, <gasps> you need something. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my God, that is so sweet. So it's now 5.30 on Wednesday. The last clip you saw was my best friend Abby. It was her birthday on July 2nd, but I haven't seen her because I was supposed to go to her birthday party and then I didn't go because it ended up being the same day as my graduation barbecue thing with my family. So this is the first time we've actually both not been working. So she came over, I gave her a present. It went really well, she loved it. <laughs> I guess I can tell you guys about coffee now if y'all are interested in the drama of my life. Basically, John, we were best friends. He was like, oh my God, let's try dating. And I was like, bitch, I'm gonna break your heart. It's not a good idea. We should just be friends. And he was like, no, no, I'll be fine. We tried dating for like a year. I I broke it off and then four years passed and he refused to talk to me he was like no we can't be friends finally convinced him to go to coffee with me a month ago went to coffee it was great talked for like six hours and then he was like I'll text you when I want to go again and I was like cool awesome texted me we decided to go out again last night and then he went on this speech about how he is scared of getting hurt again and how he doesn't want to develop feelings for me again so he doesn't think that he can be my friend because he doesn't want his heart to hurt and blah, 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 blah. bitch it's been four years I'm a little bit bitter about it right now I totally understand where he's coming from like whatever I'm pretty fabulous but bitter right now I'll get over it in like a day but <laughs> anyway, so yeah, he friendship broke up with me, so that's been great to deal with, you know? Finally thought we were gonna be friends again, and then no. So, like, maybe it's payback karma. I don't know. Um, reading update for the day. I am now on page uh, 285 of The Bells. Still really liking it. It's finally getting into, like, the plot of the book that, like, it says on this thing about how she has to like decide if she's gonna resurrect the princess blah 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 I think I'm probably gonna give it a four maybe 4.5 if more shit happens but we will see my plan is to just finish this book tonight it's Ricardo's brother's birthday tomorrow so his family is going up to the cottage I can't go because I work tomorrow too to 9 30 and they're leaving tonight and then staying up there all day tomorrow so i'm not seeing him today so your girl has plenty of time to read as for the other book the purple one the daughter of the burning city i haven't read any more of it so i'm still 42 pages in if i finish this one maybe i'll pick that up but like i'm not in the mood to hold a book because i'm still bitter about john so 
that's the plan. That's what I'm going to go do. And yeah, so I will update you guys later on, maybe tonight if I finish this book. If not, tomorrow because I'll probably forget to film because I'm not a very good blogger, vlogger, not a good speaker either. So I have like four minutes until I have to go inside for my shift. It's now Thursday and I just like don't want to go in because it's like a camp shift is from two to four and then I have an hour break, five to 9.30 is at the other place and that's like a regular RA shift, but I figured I'd give you guys an update on my reading. I finished The Bells last night. I'm giving it a 4.5 out of 5. I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. I was convinced that it was going to be a 4, but then the last like 100 pages, like shit got real. A lot of stuff happened and I am a big fan. I really enjoyed it. I decided this morning that I was going to be a little shit and basically change my entire TBR. So that's happening. I actually have completed two books so far that actually complete every single challenge except for read an author's debut novel, which I am changing Daughter of Burning City to be that that book oh, now that's the only book I have to finish and then I've completed all the challenges because I really wanted to have all the badges on the website because I'm a materialistic bitch apparently I slept until 11 a.m. this morning which is crazy I went to bed at 10 30 and slept till 11 so like apparently I was really tired I guess I really needed the sleep but I started Salt to the Sea by Ruda Sepetti this morning I'm about 105 pages in so far and I'm using that for a book that you were supposed to read last year technically already completed that challenge with the bells as well but you know it was on audiobook so i needed something to listen to because all of the books that i actually have on my tbr aren't audiobooks so i was like mm, gotta change that so that's what's happening but i have to go into work now so i'm gonna go do that and then i will see you guys probably for quality car content with mother because she has to drive me to work hello this gets louder and louder where are you going now? Back to work. Different building. 5 to 9.30. I had to deal with a poopy bathing suit. Oh, you see, you didn't tell me that. That was fun. Yeah? Does yeah. that make you want to throw up? I do not like children. It's the best birth control is camp. Just so you're all aware. What are you going to do when you have your own child? I'm not having children. Okay. I'm having dogs. Okay. Different. Okay. So we just went to Talese and went to buy a book and the girl who was the cashier gave it to me for 140 when usually books there are like 499 So life is good. I'm a winner. It's because mom's a senior. It says seniors books. So you should just buy all my books from now on. Yeah, but that only works if, I buy, if you buy them individually because when you buy them buy four get one free they won't give me the seniors discount so i got the temp by michelle francis which this is a book that i had on my most anticipated releases when it first came out but basically the temp takes over the lady's life and she's like a psychiatrist or something successful tv producer i was close Ta -da! now i have another book that i didn't need but that's okay it's now friday i'm way too lazy to sit up but I finished Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sepetti for the read a book that you meant to read last year. This has been on my shelf for a thousand million trillion years, but we finally got to it. We finally read it. I'm giving it a 3.5 and a lot of people give this book like a five out of five stars, but like I wasn't blown away by it. Like it was a really emotional read and all that jazz, but Ooh, we dropped our phones. We're gonna keep talking. But, um, yeah, I just wasn't like a huge, huge fan. I'm just continuing In the Key of Niragani by Natasha Dean. I've started this last week and I was like, oh, I'm not going to read it because, you know, for the readathon, I want to actually read books out of like starting this week. But then the Overdrive app told me that I have to send it back in like two days and your girl does not want to have to wait on the wait list because I'm supposed to be reading this for a publisher. So we're just going to get it done tonight. I'm like, almost done i think i'm on page like 175 of like 200 and something so i have to work 5 to 9 30 tonight and then i think i'm seeing ricardo i don't know honestly we're gonna see how much we can get 
done of this. It's 3.14 and I work at 5. I will talk to you guys some other time. I don't know when. Maybe tonight if I don't go see Ricardo or tomorrow if I do. It is Saturday at... Ooh, dropped my phone again. Clearly I'm not good at this whole phone holding thing. But it's Saturday at 5.17. I just got off work from 9.15 to 4.45, me and the receptionist got in a fight because I'm correct. So as an RA, you have to count the receptionist till at the end of the day to say like that what they inputted into the data sheet like matches what they have in their drawer basically. So on the spreadsheet, there's like a column for your rolls of coins and a column for your single coins. The receptionist wrote that she had like 64 quarters in her till with one roll, but she actually had 24 quarters with two rolls. And so I told her like, hey, this is wrong. You got to change it. And she was like, no. And I was like, well, what do you mean? No, like it has to match. And she was like, well, it equals 200, so it's fine. And I was like, N yeah, but you still have to match. Like I'm not signing the paper to say that I counted it and it matches if it doesn't match. And we sat there for like half an hour and she like wouldn't change it. So I was like, all right, whatever, I'm not signing it. So I didn't sign the paper. I don't know if I'm gonna get in trouble for that, but I was like, it doesn't match, so it's not happening. So that was super fun. She also said that she had 46 nickels when she actually only had six in her till. So I was like, girl, this is really off. I'm not signing it. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. Who knows? But now we're going to read for the rest of the night because Ricardo's working night shift, so I won't see him. Hi, mommy. Say hi. Hi. You won't get in trouble. Are you? I don't know if you're visible. I can't even see that. No, you're not going to get in trouble. Thanks, mom. You won't. You won't. Hi. What are your plans for the night? I don't know now. I'm reading this. Daughter of a Burning City. What are you reading? I'm reading this. She's reading that. I'm almost done, and then I'm going to read this. Oh. 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 I'm 170. Ow, oh, she hit myself in the face. I'm 172 pages into it now, and it's really good. I what? really like it. 294. Stop done. trying to one up me. I am one up you. <laughs> Okay, so you know how I said I was going to read The Daughter of the Burning City? I didn't. I read In the Key of Niragani, but I finished and I gave it a 3.5. It was like a cute coming of age story where she like learns to accept herself and do what she wants and like follow her own dreams. So this challenge, I'm counting it for the more than five words in the title. Technically Rockport Limited had that, but I didn't really have like a reason for reading this one, just that the audiobook was having to go back to the library. So whatever it's not her debut which is annoying i googled it because i was like eh, maybe i can use that but it's not and it's also not a movie so still don't have those two challenges so really i should be reading daughter of the burning city so i can get the debut badge bad badge badge so maybe i'm gonna do that or i'm gonna listen to ramona blue by julie murphy i haven't decided because that just came in to my library and i've had it on my shelf for like over a year so that's the plan now. Hello! Hi. It's day seven, aka Sunday, and I'm going to work. It's 3.45, but I completed Daughter of the Burning City, and I'm giving it five stars. It's very good. Mother, you should read it. Which means I completed five books for Reading Rush. How many were you supposed to do? Seven. So I failed, but that's okay. And I read a total of... 1,527 pages. You're supposed to read seven books and there's seven challenges, but I didn't complete read a book to movie adaptation and watch the movie. And I didn't complete read seven books. So only two challenges. So I didn't do that what bad. What time does it end at? 12 o'clock tonight, but I'm going to work, so I'm not gonna read anything. And then I'm seeing Ricardo. Which means the readathon is over for me. Which means we failed, but that's okay. Which means I'll see you in next week's reading vlog. Say goodbye! Bye. Oh wow, so unenthusiastic. I am driving. Goodbye! So?